In this tutorial, you will learn about medical subject headings, or MESH, which is a controlled vocabulary used to search databases in the health sciences. Controlled vocabularies help organize knowledge so that you can retrieve things later. This is in contrast to natural language searching, which places no restriction on the words you use to search. Let's start learning about MESH by doing a simple search in Ovid Medline. To access Ovid Medline, click the Ovid link on the library's homepage, library.tulsa.ou.edu. Next, click the Ovid Medline link. At this point, you may be prompted to log in using your OUHSC credentials. First, make sure the map term to subject heading box is checked. Then, type heart attack into the search box and click search. Contrary to what you might expect in a natural language search, Ovid's first step in a subject search is not to provide you with a list of results. Instead, it retrieves a list of the most likely medical subject headings based on the terms you provided. You can now select the best ones to fit your search. On the list of map subject headings for your term heart attack, Ovid suggests myocardial infarction. This is the correct medical subject heading for our search topic of heart attack. If none of the terms Ovid offers really fits your concept, or you want to broaden your search, the last option is always search as keyword. This will retrieve any article with the phrase heart attack. However, you may miss important articles that use specific medical terminology. Sometimes you should search by both keyword and mesh. For example, when searching for drug names, brand names will map to the correct generic name for the drug. But to get a more comprehensive set of results, search for both the generic name and the brand name as a keyword. If you're not sure what any of the terms mean, click the blue circle under scope. This shows you a brief definition as well as other words that the term is used for. Let's look at the scope note for myocardial infarction. Click the blue eye to the right of the term. Now you're seeing the scope note for myocardial infarction. First, you get a definition of the term according to this database, any notes that relate to the term itself, dates that the term has been used, and specific searching notes. You'll also see any related terms to your term, and all of the words that your medical subject heading is used for. If there are any narrower or broader terms, these will be listed here as well. Let's go back to searching now. Click the back button. So to select the term for myocardial infarction, simply check the box next to the term. We'll uncheck searches keyword for now. You also have the options to explode and focus. Exploding a term tells the database you want the requested subject heading as well as any narrower subject headings classified underneath it. If you choose not to explode, the database will search only the term you originally selected. It will ignore any narrower subject headings, limiting your results. Focusing a term tells the database to retrieve only articles in which your subject is considered the primary focus. Focusing eliminates articles in which your topic is discussed peripherally. This retrieves fewer, but more relevant articles. The best strategy as you are starting to search is to check both boxes. This will broaden the search, but keep it focused. Click both the explode and the focus checkboxes to the right of Mario Cardial Infarction now. Then click the continue button. Now, you will be prompted with the subheading section. Subheadings describe the type of information you want about your MeSH term, like therapy, diagnosis, etiology, etc. 
However, this will drastically narrow the focus of your search. For most searches, especially when you're just starting out, just select include all subject headings, excuse me, include all subheadings, or you can simply click the continue button without selecting any facets. You have now completed a search using Mesh. What you now see in the search history area of the screen is the number of your search, what you searched, and how many results were retrieved. If we look back at what we searched, the EXP means that you exploded your term, the asterisk means that you focused your term, and the forward slash file following myocardial infarction means that this term is a valid controlled vocabulary term that has been searched in the subject heading fields of this database. Any subheadings you might have chosen would appear after the forward slash. But in this search, we effectively chose all of them, so none appear. If you scroll down below the search box, you'll see your search results. To learn how to combine multiple search terms and to filter your results, check out more of the library's evidence-based practice tutorials. Happy searching!